Hey, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get into Waterloo Computer Engineering. I recently got admitted like two months ago into computer engineering for the class of 2029. And I have a few points that I'd just talk about for people who are in grade 11 or going into grade 12 now. Or if, you, if you're just in a younger grade and you want to learn about the overall admission process. Obviously, if you've already applied, this stuff is going to be really obvious, but this is just a video that I would have liked to see when I was in grade 10 or 11, just to know what I'm getting into. So the main points I'm going to discuss is first off your grades and then writing the AIF and then quickly about ad adjustment factor. So in terms of grades, um, for computer engineering, you're required to have your two math, English, physics, chem, and then one elective. That one elective should be a really easy course. Like I'd recommend doing some business course or just something really easy where you could get 100%. Um, if you're applying to something like CS where it's not engineering and there's a lot more electives in your top six, then go for even more courses that are easy, like, um, like business course plus another easy course, um, just so that you can get all like all those high marks in your top six. Um, obviously, to get high marks, use past tests and use other strategies. I'm not going to talk about those in this video because there's plenty of videos out there. But, you know, just use a calendar, organize your time, prioritize, study for what you got to do. And if you're in a hard program like IB or something, then, yeah, y you'll have a lot of past tests and yeah, just study with your friends and get through it. Um, so for CE, like a, a decent average would be around 95%. Um, it depends on your adjustment factor, which I'll get into later, but um, just in that kind of range is pretty good. For your AAF, you should probably complete this on Christmas break. That's what me and a lot of other friends did. Um, it just clears up a lot of time so that you can focus on school during the actual school time. Um, it's gonna ask you about personal and also experience type questions. So um, like, what are personal hobbies you like doing? Like, what is your work experience? Those types of questions. Um, so just answer them honestly and try to, um, try to put stuff on your AIF that, that'll make the person on the other side want to admit you. And there's um, a lot of, articles on the internet about how to write a good AIF. Specifically, you can just search up like um, Waterloo AIF 2025 or whatever year you're applying to, and you'll find some good articles there. Um, I, I, I was reading one article about how to write like good persuasive things, um, answers for AIF questions, so it really helps out. <clears throat> Next, they're gonna ask you about your extracurriculars. Um, I think they actually do it at the start of the AIF, but here you're just going to list out like, I'd say 8 to 12 extracurriculars. Um, I don't know a specific number. Some people did more, some people did less. Um, I guess just list out your most important extracurriculars. So that could be sports that you played competitively or um, work experience or other things like that. Um, and then after that, there is also a specific section for work experience. Um, so make sure to fill that in if you have work experience. For specific courses like computer engineering or software engineering, it will give you a section on um, discussing your coding experience. So what coding languages you, you know how to use and things like that. So um, just make sure to f list those out and also fill in what you use each coding language for. So like what projects did you do? Did you do leak code? Did you do um, Unity game engine? Like that sort of stuff. Um, and then the final part of the AIF is the interview. Um, again, there's articles on the internet on specifically the interview, so check those out. But also, overall, just um, like stay calm and answer the questions and just remember that it's, it's not weighted super heavily. I think it's out of three marks. Um, and yeah, just answer the questions properly and you'll probably get one or two marks just like most people. So overall, the AIF in engineering, I think is 
um, out of five or something like that. Um, so it's, it's not the heaviest weight, but your marks definitely do have a heavier weight. So focus on your marks more so than your extracurriculars and things like that. And honestly, when you're grinding through high school, find enjoyable activities um, to enjoy time with your friends and just do some fun sports stuff that you enjoy. So then by the time you get to writing the AIF, you'll have a long list of extracurriculars that you want to include there. And it'll just make the high school experience more fun. So that's my advice on that. Um, in terms of the adjustment factor, there is a, a GitHub document that lists all of the high school's adjustment factor in Ontario. So just search up Waterloo adjustment factor and it'll give you a document. Um, I think the average is about 11 or 12. So basically when you get admitted, they take your average in, in your top six, they add your AAF mark. So they might add like four on top of that. And then they subtract adjustment factors. So if you've got a lower adjustment factor, then that's good. Actually, I think the average is 11 or 14. Um, so yeah, just check that out. Okay, the last thing I wanna quickly discuss is that there is a Reddit 2024 admissions server. So I'd recommend reading through those. A lot of people wrote some really useful stuff on how to get admitted and just general uh, questions and answers from people that have been admitted. So I'd recommend reading that. Probably by the time you're applying, there will be a 2025 admission server or something like that. <clears throat> so just read through those. It'll give you some guidance and some, and probably answer a lot of your questions. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, let me know if you want me to make any other videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.